Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. So if you've been convicted of drunk driving, either in Rhode Island or Mass, the judge or the DMV may order you to install one of these in your vehicle. It's an ignition interlock device. I'm sure you've heard of them. You blow into the mouthpiece in order to start your car. But we wonder just how these work and if they're reliable. We're at Barrington Auto Service, one of the local installers of these devices, and this is Michelle Fontaine. She's from New England Interlock, and you are the local licensee for the Lifesaver product. Yes. So this is it. It's an ignition interlock device. It's installed in vehicles to prevent people from drinking and driving. So how does it work? All right, it's hardwired into the ignition system, and I can show you right now. Okay. And this is a demo model, so we can, we can show you how All right, it works. the weight light is on. It's heating up the fuel set. Uh, cell to take a test. Now it's asking for a blow. Okay. Take a nice deep breath. I got to say the word do and blow for five seconds. Okay. Okay. And I passed. So you passed. So, so I'd be able to start my car. The car will start. And if you fail? It would not allow you to start. It would go to fail. It would go back to wait and allow you to rinse your mouth out with water if it was some kind of a contaminant like mouthwash or something and then you can take another test. Okay. Now, what about people who decide, well, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to rip it out somehow. What happens? Well, the device is pretty smart. It detects, it comes up in the events log that power has been disconnected. It comes up that the car has been, the engine's been started without a test being taken. And, okay. and it also will put you in an early recall when, when it detects that. So you have to bring it in and, and to have it looked at, inspected and downloaded and have the car, you know, reported. And as far as the the legal limits, it's not really its not really calibrated to the legal limit, it's, it's, it's any amount of alcohol essentially, correct? It, it picks up any alcohol, but for Rhode Island it's set at 0.03 for a fail, and you know, of course it's 0 0.08, so it's well under the limit, so it's really abstinence. Michelle, nobody wants to have to deal with this, we don't want anybody drinking and driving. There's also an expense involved in, in all of this too. Yeah, the standard install is $85, and then it's roughly about $85 a, a month. Michelle, what happens if somebody gets the bright idea of having somebody else blow into the device for them? Well, it has a rolling retest feature. Five minutes after the car is started, it asks for another test. And then it's every 15 to 45 minutes after that. So it's a random chip, so you don't know how, how often it's going to ask. So what happens if you fail at that point? Does the car just automatically shut off? Or? Yeah, no, it doesn't shut off because that would be a hazard. Right. The horn starts um, blowing and the device will ask for another test. Bottom line, these are no fun for people, right? Yeah, no, they're not. You want to try to prevent it, getting one as much as you can. Rhode Island lawmakers have recently passed and the governor has signed a new law that requires judges and magistrates to mandate the use of one of these ignition interlock devices on a first drunk driving offense of 0.15 BAC or over for three months to a year in addition to all the other penalties. They may also require this device now on 0.08 offenses. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive.